Hey Leos, it's I am 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for February. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. See what message spirit has for you guys. Just want to remind you guys that this is a general reading. All of the messages may not resonate with you. If this message does not resonate with you, you can check the end of this video for um, additional readings or check your moon rising and Venus sign. Um, in the description box, I have all of the February readings listed there, okay? Okay, Leo. Just going to get out a few more cards here to support your reading. What messages do you have here for Leo? It seems to me, Leo, you guys are going to be rejecting somebody. <laughs> I feel like you guys are focused on something new, possibly someone new here. Okay. Got a, quite a few house cards that's coming out. What other messages are here for Leo Spirit? What would you like Leo to know this week? For some reason, I'm hearing for you guys that love is not just a word. It's like something you guys have to understand. It's like someone telling you constantly that they love you, uh, but they don't show you it. Love is not just a word. It means so much more than that here. I don't think I need to tell you guys that, but it just feels that I have felt that um, energy while I was shuffling your cards here. Let's see what's going on for you. Woo! Goodness. <laughs> nice. Oh. So, my dears, you are moving on to something better. That's what I feel here. Leo, you guys have learning to say no. Saying no is an act of love. When we say a healthy no to an abusive situation, whether this is in response to another person or to ourselves, we are set, setting limits and establishing healthy boundaries. A healthy no is saying yes to life. Give yourself permission to say no to some situation here. And you also have faith. Fate, okay? This is a destined partnership here. So you may be, like I said to you, you guys may be saying no to someone else, but it is another relationship that is fated for you guys here. You have the fifth house that is showing up for you here, Leo. So this is all about your uh, self-expression. Also, this is about romance. Uh, this can come up as well when you have children in the mix or uh, this could be about your childhood. This could be about uh, play for romance here as well or about the arts. Um, so some of you guys could be interested in the arts here. That's what I'm saying as well. Uh, your card is saying uh, where you have fun, romance and create things you are proud of in the fifth house energy here. So the fifth house is showing up in regards to some romance that is faded. This uh, this romance is faded. And I feel like it's something new. Like you guys are going to have to say no to the past. No to someone in the current energy here. And no to past partners as well. Because there is another connection that is faded for you guys here. You're meant for someone else. Okay. So Spirit is saying open yourself to possibility here. Open yourself to possibility Almost everyone holds some limiting beliefs about themselves, of course. These perceptions block us from receiving the infinite support of the universe. So they want you to open up to um, possibilities here. Um, even about new romance coming in towards you. Some of you guys have put that shit right out the window. You're like, no thanks. <laughs> okay, but there is a relationship that's faded here. And I, I do feel like you're going to be happier here with this 
person okay so uh you have this card as an invitation to reassess and to look beyond these limitations and to recognize that in opening yourself to possibility you automatically invite positive change into your life so don't fight against this here look at this you guys have the seventh house that's coming in yes it's about romance here uh leo partnership here possibly even even marriage here okay um, your card is saying this area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic business or family for you guys here. And again, either you have children or this person has children or you guys want children, you're on the same level, okay? But uh, that's a side message for some of you guys, okay? Don't worry if you have children. I feel like this person will accept you having a child or... If you guys get to know this person, maybe you will accept their child if they have one here. That's up to you. That's a personal deal. Okay, but children may be involved, uh, may be a factor in this relationship here. Okay, just to let you guys know. Um, you have on this card saying children are important to this partnership. So either you want someone that's good for your child, you definitely don't want someone that is questionable and vice versa this person may have the same deal going on or you are looking to have a child with someone or have a partnership with someone that you can uh, have a family with and this person feels the same way spirit is saying set your highest intentions okay as you move forward um check your intentions here okay so Again, don't close yourself off to possibilities here. Your money could be great, but what good is that if you don't have anybody to share it with or like to build something with someone with? Um, like you can have all the money in the world, but who's going to be laying next to you enjoying that shit? I'm just saying. Everybody wants to be... Um, I feel like... Yes, <laughs> everyone wants to have someone. They want someone good in their life here, okay? And it's possible that you guys are about to meet someone uh, that you have been hoping for, wishing for here. Like your card is saying, some relationship is faded here, okay? And I definitely feel by seeing your other cards here that you're going to receive uh, the love that you've been searching for or hoping for. Your card is saying, intention is a focused thought. Prayer is a fo focused thought. Worry is also a focused thought here, so check your thoughts. Notice the predominant thoughts that you hold in your mind because these are actually sending a request into the universe. If necessary, consciously make adjustments to your thinking patterns here. You can change consciously, make an adjustment to your thinking patterns. Like if you something negative comes up in your mind here, Leo, you can redirect your focus. Um, you, well, you can thank the universe for that thought, okay? First and foremost, acknowledge it, uh, but also get yourself busy doing something else here, okay? To redirect your thoughts or your focus here off of things that may have um, hindered you in the past or hurt you here, okay? You have denial that's coming in here. Uh, detach with love to clearly see the truth. I feel like they want you to detach from worry, detach from negative thinking, even a negative person or a relationship that may um, be very damaging to you here. They're wanting you to detach with love to clearly see the truth. You have Mercury that is coming in towards you here, Leo. How you think, communicate, write, and travel here okay so this mercury energy is all about your mind of course um for some reason i feel like some of you guys may meet a gemini this person may be a gemini here um <laughs> that you're going to meet that's the energy that i have coming in here um Pay attention to communication and communication coming in towards you here. You guys may have someone trying to contact you from the past or reconnect with you here very soon. Don't fall for the okie doke. That's what I feel. Don't go back into past messages either and try to decipher them or read through them or reconnect with that energy here. I definitely feel like spirit wants you to move forward here, okay? Um, also with new love, pay attention to how you speak to this person here 
here um, this new person that is going to be coming into your life because I definitely feel like it's someone new, not someone old that's returning to you here. So, so um, make sure there's no lost communication or misunderstandings of communication here with this new person. Make sure you, that you make your intentions and yourself very clear. You have a new love coming in. The energy of new love is around you. Sometimes if we have been hurt within relationships, we retreat afraid of being hurt again. This card brings a clear message and is an indication of your readiness to embrace love and begin a new relationship. It is safe to reach out here, okay? You also have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity here. Some of you guys have had distance already from previous person here. Um, so I feel like you have gained some clarity of what you want. You know your values, values, your morals, what type of relationship you are looking for, what you're looking for in a partner, which is, is excellent if you've taken that time to heal yourself um, here, Leo. Okay, so I definitely feel... Um, this time apart from that person is why uh, this new love is coming in if you've gone through that healing process. But you have the fourth house that is coming in, coupling with these cards, talking about your home and the roots of your being. I was talking about your values and your morals here, okay? So this is about your psychological foundation, okay? Um, some childhood issues may resurface here that's what i'm feeling from this card here okay your roots like uh, how you were brought up here um may resurface i feel like um some relationship that you had previously may have brought up a lot of childhood wounds here um or you may have had a relationship like uh, people that you saw in the past or whoever uh, raised you, you may have had a difficult relationship like your parents here. Everyone won't resonate with that, okay? But I, I feel like this is something that is coming from what was rooted deep down inside of you. Um, and some relationship reminds you of that pain uh, or the suffering that you've seen your parents or, or um, mother go through. I have to say it like that because that's the energy that they're giving me here, okay? I definitely see you reassessing reassessing your your life and how you um, move forward in connections and in relationships. I feel like you're trying to heal a lot of those uh, traumas that you may have experienced uh, in your childhood here um, and get to a more stable psychological state of mind here okay uh, I feel like you're definitely trying to heal your your life at this time so that you are not rooting this energy in children that you may have now or children that you may have in the future here I'm hearing that some of you guys are trying to heal a lot of generational curses as well because you may not have just seen your parents go through this. You may, you may have seen aunts or uncles or someone go through a very difficult childhood or relationship, partnership here. Yeah, relationship. That's what they're saying. Okay. That's why this fourth house energy is coming up with this new love card. Okay. Um, let's go into your cards here, Leo. So you guys have the four of wands that is how you're looking here it's all about your roots okay and what you what what foundation you're trying to build for yourself here i feel like you're definitely trying to build a, a stable one here you want a happy home a happy life some of you guys are looking uh forward to having a happy relationship in union with someone um and a lot of you guys are ready for that you're open to that with this uh four of wands coming in it's also 11 11 so you guys are looking for some of you guys are looking for a true soulmate or your twin flame to connect with here uh someone that you connect connect with on a soul level 
Um, my other Leos out there, I feel like you're just wanting to have um, stability in your life here, okay? And I definitely feel like you will have it. Some of you guys are thinking about relocating, thinking about moving with the Six of Pentacles that is uh, crossing you here. You're thinking about reestablishing yourself either in business um, or reestablishing your whole family in a no in a new location here I, I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to take care of not only yourself but take care of others financially and emotionally here so you're looking towards balance here in your life with the six of pentacles six of pentacles is all about um financial success and balance and being generous not only to yourself but to others here okay I definitely feel like you're looking towards or wanting material comforts and love in your life. And it is here to be had here, okay? I definitely feel like with the Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands here, and your other cards that came out, especially the Seventh House and the Fifth House here, there is a partnership, like your card is saying, that is definitely faded here and the six of pentacles that is crossing you this is an opportunity to have a relationship with someone that is very emotionally stable that is very passionate um <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like this person is going to be very passionate as well be able to communicate very well and you guys are both on the same page with regards to your needs wants and your hopes for the future um, that's what I'm seeing here in this new connection, in this new relationship here. Okay. Um, what you need to focus on here is the pain that you still carry around. I feel like there's still some healing to be done here with the five of cups, uh, since it is showing up in your reading here. Uh, spirit is saying that you may experience some disappointments. They, they'll, those feelings may resurface for you in your mind, in your heart. Since we're talking about the cups here, there may have been some loss with a Scorpio. You have Mars and Scorpio with the five of cups here. So you may have experienced some losses here in your life. Okay. But, uh, the five of cups is like, uh, it's not set in stone. It's, it's not as they have the stone on there. It's not set in stone. I definitely feel like this is something that spirit wants you to put to rest here. Whatever romantic old friend, possibly an old friend or romantic partner or situation that you had to separate yourself from or someone that may have separated themselves from you or someone that you lost here, okay? There needs to be some healing in this area of your life or healing with your heart chakra here. They're telling me something about your heart chakra. Focus on self-care. Giving yourself a little bit more love here this week, Leo, okay? Don't be saying cruel words to yourself here. Make sure that you are speaking life into yourself, okay? That you're speaking positively over your life uh, this week. Make that a priority. That's what I'm feeling with this Five of Cups here. You have the Temperance card that is coming in the past energy here. So you may have felt like you weren't strong enough in the past, you may have let, let a lot of things, um, a lot of situations um, take you out of a, a peaceful state of being. Some of you guys have struggled emotionally here. This is all passing you. Okay, this is why it's in the past here. And that's where we're going to leave it. Okay, Leo, you have the Knight of Cups that is crowning you, uh, the love song. So <laughs> this is what you guys are singing here uh coming up pretty soon you guys are going to be singing the love love song there's either gemini pisces cancer scorpio that's coming in towards you here but a new love for sure someone that is quite stable um that is going to put their heart out there and make it known that they are uh passionate about um being in a connection and in a relationship with you here okay whoever this is this person is I feel genuine, warm, and a great communicator, like I said before. Someone that is truly um, romantic here, po possibly even seductive, <laughs> if you into that thing, okay? Um, I feel like you will have fun with this person. It's not going to be um, too drawn into the emotions. I feel like it's going to be a, a nice balance between... Um, 
having a, a relationship that you can enjoy um, and have fun with that childlike energy and also being very mature, taking care of business and being able to communicate effectively to bring balance into the relationship here okay an equal give and take with the six of pentacles between both of you here okay so um you have the six, the king of pentacles it could be a taurus virgo capricorn that i'm seeing here for some of you guys as well but the king of pentacles is definitely coming in letting me know that um overall you're bringing stability into your own life here i'm not sure exactly what you guys are moving into here but you have noticed something about yourself that you need to improve that you need to change maybe you feel like you um have just been too unorganized i i feel like you guys are grounding yourself or you're noticing that you need to ground yourself to uh bring in more stability in your life in order to be successful so maybe you guys are finally realizing that you need to have some structure and some boundaries here in your life in order to have the success and the love that you really want here. I'm seeing some of you guys here this week maybe getting opportunities as well, either uh, in the form of uh, a promotion or a higher salary, especially with the seventh house coming in, saying that there is some significant long-term possibilities, possibly even in business here. But romance for sure, I'm seeing this for you guys here, okay? So that's what you need to prepare yourself for. This card is sitting in a position here leo of what is your plan of approach and you need to go in stable um into whatever situation you're entering into what whether it is romantic or business here you need to be grounded with your energy um you need to be uh responsible and competent <laughs> be in the know okay when it comes to what you want uh what your values and your morals are and you need to um really carry out whatever your plans are okay for the future and what you're trying to pursue i feel like if you do that here if you go through this this transformation this transformative period in your life with the star card there will be uh, a lot of your wishes a lot of things that you're trying to manifest will come into fruition here love will be given given and received here um, I definitely feel like there will be a, a period of happiness here for you for a long time if you stay grounded in your energy uh, to reach success both romantically and financially here. Um, that the universe is listening to you and is ready to shower you with um, what, you, what you're asking for, okay? The spirit is trying to make have me remind you guys that no matter what your situation looks like right now that you can bring in these positive changes towards yourself but first you have to believe it here okay and you have to take action towards bringing in stability into your own life that's what i'm feeling here okay some of you guys are closed up to what i'm saying here you're, you're feeling like you need to protect yourself but this is the it's really the time for you to get out there and shine here leo that's what i'm feeling with the two of swords that's coming in here some of you guys are really struggling um emotionally or um mentally here with the two of swords energy trying to protect yourself but I feel like you're already protected. Your spear guys are saying that you're already protected here, okay? What you need to do is do some inner soul searching and continue to make positive changes in your life here, okay? They're wanting you to not take away from yourself anymore because they're trying to add value um, in your life here, okay? Both fi uh, financially and emotionally here with new people entering into your life here that's prepared to love you okay if you do in the event meet someone or you come across someone here that is coming up as a false lover okay a false twin flame or a false soulmate allow yourself time to think about that connection and just remember what your morals and your values are and that this if that person that individual oversteps that those boundaries and they're not willing to 
uh, compromise, okay? And uh, focus on equal give and take with you here, then you know that's not the person I'm talking about here, okay? Because I definitely feel like whoever this person is that's fated for you, you both will be on the same page. Um, in regards to your needs. And you're, it's not going to be a struggle here, okay? It's not going to be a stalemate here, okay? Like you guys may be worried about, like, am I going to meet the same type of person? Because that's what these the Two of Swords, is the position is sitting in is hopes and fears. You hope you find someone that you're looking for, and you will with this star card. That's what you need to know. Um and I definitely feel like there's some fear that you'll meet the same type of person that you left before here. But if you're putting that in the forefront of, you, of your mind, if that's what you're constantly thinking about every time you meet someone, that same type of person may definitely resurface here. So there has to be a change of your mind, okay? Okay, Because what you think about, you bring about, okay? That's why you have the card saying... Um, talking about your intentions here okay intentions intention is a focused thought prayer is a focused thought worry is also a focused thought no notice the predominant thoughts that you hold and that's why your last card is the six of swords here okay it can mean a shift in your mindset here okay what are you thinking about um what are you what are your intentions what are you putting out there into the ether into the universe here okay cuz like your card is saying um notice the pre predominant thoughts that you hold in your mind because these are actually sending a request into the universe here if necessary consciously make an adjustment to your thinking patterns here so think about the things that you definitely truly want um moving forward here if the, if it is a new job or a new home um a new relationship those are the things that you need to really put in the forefront of your mind uh the six of swords shows up when there needs to be a change of mind um possibly taking care of yourself in the now mentally okay and letting go of problems can help you um really bring in the manifestations that you're trying to uh, bring into fruition, okay? That's what I'm saying here, and that is your reading, loves. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Thank you for coming back to watch your reading here, Leo. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you resonated with this message here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell, loves. I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care. Bye.